how would you like to take a close look at exactly what my heritage DNA test results are? How would you like that? In case there's any confusion, let's all explore this together. This is the MyHeritage app on my phone, and no, I don't work for MyHeritage. Okay, so here's the app. I'm going right here to DNA, and it's going to pull up the DNA, and I'm going to get a little bit closer. It's going to zoom in here as it's loading. All right, so we see there is my heritage DNA, and there's my name, and immediately it has kind of the the main things there: 37% uh, North and West European, 31.8% Iberian, and then there's like another third that's more. I'm going to view full estimate. There we go. All right, now that I've done that, we're letting it load. And then we're going to have a few more choices to look at exactly what's going on here. So uh, I'm going to go where it says your estimate. Now here's the trick. You got to go where it says all ethnicities. Click on the arrow and go to all supported ethnicities. That's what you do immediately. Okay, there we go. So let's start with the first one. I'm most mostly European. I'm 77.6% European. I'm going to click on that. When I do that, it's showing you that I'm 37 0.4% North and West European. So about half of that European is, uh, it's ultimately, I'm going to say Dutch and German. It's explicitly not English, Finnish, Irish, Scottish, Welsh, or Scandinavian. Moving on to South Europe, 31.8% is Iberian. I'm not Greek, I'm not Italian, I'm not Sardinian. Moving on to East Europe, I'm 8.4%. And of that, 6.1% is just generically called East European. 2.3% is called, is, is Balkan. I'm not Baltic, and I'm not Ashkenazi Jewish, 0%. Moving on to America, where is my next uh, section here. For America, can you see that it shows Central America, and it says 21.6%. I'm not considered any Native American. Of course, that's referring to a Native American in the United States, modern day United States. But because I have ancestry going back to Mexico, that's why it says Central America, and I'm not any South American. Moving on to the Middle East, I'm 0.8%, it already says that. And when you specifically look at it, it says Middle Eastern, 0.8%, so I'm specifically not Yemenite Jewish. As you can clearly see, I'm not African, I'm not Asian, and I'm not anything oceanic. There we go, Nick Shell, 100%, who I am, there's my map. There you can see most of who I am is going to come from this part in Europe. And then we've got that much of me is from America. So there you go. Now, let's talk about your feelings about that. Whoa, it's all red. Let's talk about your feelings about that. How, how does that make you feel? Actually, I feel so yellow. Let's get the lighting better, huh? It was so focused on that on that uh, phone. Get it just right. Mm. Oh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That's good enough. How do you feel about those results? I'm a MyHeritage guy. I, I don't work for them, but I they're my favorite. So naturally, I'm like, yeah, that makes the most sense to me. When I look in the selfie cam right now, that's what I see. I see everything that I just read out to you and read off to you off of the MyHeritage app. How do you feel about that? Do you feel that that could easily be accurate? I do. There's no part of that test that I'm, at this point, now that I've uh, really done a thorough job of studying how all this stuff works, it makes total sense to me that I am all of those things. And in case you haven't seen my videos before, I'll just kind of quickly review where that DNA is coming from. So for my dad, he took a test actually through 23andMe and he's 99% North and West European. Uh, so that's mainly Scottish, English, Irish likely, and then about a quarter of him shows up to be probably German is what we're understanding from our last name, it was just Shell, S-H-E-L-L. -L. So that's my dad. My dad is all the, the Northern Western European traits that I have that I've clearly passed on to my kids who have blonde hair and blue eyes and have lighter skin than I do. But then there's my mom, who is her mother, Mexican descent, her grandmother from Mexico, and grandfather were born in Mexico and every generation before that. But my Mexican grandma was born in America. 
So uh, that's where you're seeing all the Central America. That's where you're seeing the Spanish. But then my mother's grand, uh, father, he, uh, his test, according to my mom's DNA test, revealed that uh, he would have been actually Sephardic Jewish and Middle Eastern, which I think for me showed up more in the Iberian, which explains how I have so much Iberian if my grandmother was the one that was Mexican and my dad's not at all Spanish because his test shows he's specifically not Iberian or Portuguese. So how do you feel about that? Does this make sense? Could you look at me and all that adds up based on what I just told you about my parents and what I told you about myself and what you've seen in there? Is there any part of that that you just can't bring yourself to agree with or does it ultimately all make sense? You be the judge, you tell me how you feel. If you like this video and you subscribe, I'm gonna make more videos that are gonna be something like this. Really obsessing over DNA test results and also looking at the culture that goes into all the different parts of our ethnic background and even our perception because an American perception is different than a European or a Spanish or a Mexican perspective. The way we grow up are brought up, it causes us to see the world a certain way. And I like looking at all these things, sorting it out, and getting the best version of reality that I can possibly understand. I'm Nick Shell. Thanks for watching this video on Family Friendly Daddy Blog. Am I gonna see it again? <laughs>